Hello. Today, I'm going to be talking about the history of Roblox horror games. One that is very interesting. The first horror game I'm going to be talking about is The Haunted Imperial Hotel. This game was made in 2009. This horror game takes place in a haunted Imperial Hotel. Wow. And you have to go down to the basement. In an elevator? Or in a hole in the ground? Then you have to make your way back up to the normal hotel. And it's kind of destroyed. Then you find this mine slash cave. And you just gotta walk around there until you escape. This Roblox horror game, being the first of its time, is very simple. To be honest, it's just a very spooky ambience walking simulator. The jump scares are weak if you can even call them that. Most of the time it's just a poor quality JPEG that pops up randomly. The article says, the article says, after trying to get you to download a free Robux scam, is that it wasn't about the jump scares. It was the ambience, the storytelling, and eerie feeling of not knowing what lurked around the next corner that made it so memorable. Which is very true because that's basically what saved the whole game. It's just basically about, it looks scary and you're having to investigate. So, starting off, uh, Roblox horror games were not really doing that good. But I'll give it a pass since it's the first of its kind. The next horror game is called The Light Bulb. It's basically just a top-down horror perspective game where you start in this, in this building. You are told to run and hide, and you have to hide from this monster in these lockers. This game, you have to get codes. Uh, find key and flip a generator to win the game. After winning the game, you'll go to a room with an exit and a swinging light bulb, like the name. And uh, this dude will tell you not to leave, but then you leave the building anyway and you win. This is a very big improvement compared to the first game I talked about, because unlike the first game, with no really scary and dangerous monsters, and it's basically just a walking simulator, you actually get things to be scared about in this horror game. This game isn't really a walk simulator compared to the first game because you have to actually look for items to escape and run around while avoiding the monster. And this game has an actually very good story for Roblox. This game was even nominated for the best single player game for the 4th annual Bloxies, which is basically just like a game contest for Roblox. The next games I'm going to talk about are more modern from 2020 to 2024. Uh, Roblox Piggy is a more modern Roblox game. It was made in 2022, where COVID started, and ended at around 2021. Kind of. The article also states that this one actually won a Bloxy. Roblox Piggy won the 8th annual Bloxies, which a lot of people had a problem with. But it's for different reasons. It's about an affection in this Piggy world, you play as an officer and have to go to the piggy household to find a kid named George. Simple enough, right? You look for keys, look for wrenches and hammers. And that's basically every single chapter except for new map layout and story. Which, if you ask me, this game is basically saved by the story. The story, in like a nutshell, is basically... Turns out, a potato trying to cure his wife of cancer was manipulated by an otherworldly being to make a potion that infected the world. Never thought I'd say that before, but whatever. Now, you might just think that this is just some random dumb horror game I found when I searched up horror games on Roblox, but it's one of the most visited games ever on Roblox. Right now, as of this video, it's Wednesday, 5, 8, whatever that means. It has 12.6 billion visits for this. Yeah, that's almost all of NES population. And that's basically 38 Americas on top of each other. Okay, this is actually future me. Um, while watching this video, I realized that I read it wrong. It said Piggy has 12.7 billion views or uh, visits. That's more than the world's population. The world's population is like 8 billion. So, and all this game really is, it's. There's 24 chapters and 6 extra chapters that are really good, and in my opinion, Roblox uh, Piggy really deserves it. Another Roblox horror game I want to talk about is Appearphobia. This horror game is based on the backrooms. The goal of this game is that you need to look for an exit in most of the chapters, 
but in some of the chapters, it's just as easy as finding one key and then going to the exit. While doing this, you will need to hide from the monsters by either in some lockers or just in a hole in the wall if you find one. Uh, this game is very scary compared to, you know, Piggy and most, uh, most of the other games on Roblox, to be honest. But mostly it's because you don't really know where the monster is most of the time. And also the map is basically just like a big giant maze that you can get lost in easily. Plus, compared to like the original games, this game actually looks very good. So take a look. So compare our first two games, yeah, I think it's pretty clear that Roblox horror games have evolved very good from 2009 to 2024. Uh, and as now, most of them have actual challenges, plus actual scary moments compared to the first one, which is basically just a walking simulator. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my presentation. Uh, now you have knowledge on the history of Roblox horror games. The end.